What are wrist pulls and why do you care? Hi, I'm Karen Shamai. Today we're going to be talking about wrist pulls and why it's important to know how your professional employer organization and partner handles risks when it comes to medical benefits and workers' comp, anything that has to do with insurance. Risk pools should be groups of individuals that potentially offset the cost of individuals with higher medical expenses and premiums from higher individuals with lower utilization individuals and rates. So ideally what you want to do is take people who have higher medical usage, higher medical expenses, maybe, maybe a little bit older and less healthy, and put them together with people who are younger and use the insurance less. This causes a good diversification of risk and makes the insurance company a lot more comfortable when they're looking at giving you rates and year-over-year -year annual increases. The challenge that you may run into with a lot of professional employer organizations is that they have multiple risk pools. They've created a pool for high-risk companies, medium-risk companies, and low-risk companies. So if you happen to be a higher-risk company with a lot of medical utilization, if we're talking about medical insurance, you are not going to be put into the same pool as the companies with low medical utilization, the healthier groups. They're going to be separated out, which means that you are going to be adversely affected when it comes to pricing and annual increases. This is an important question to ask whoever you're partnering with for insurance. How many risk pools do they have and how do they handle the risk mitigation across the board? Also ask them what has been their annual increase as a company for the past 10 years. Every professional employer organization that offers medical insurance and workers comp can tell you what their company's annual increase has been. A company with a low annual increase, say 3%, will be able to offer much lower rates to their partners than someone who has 10% annual increases. Also ask them what risk pool you are going to end up in if they have multiple pools and what the costing structure looks like for that. So each risk pool will have its own annual increase. Lower risk pools may be two, 3%. Higher in risk pools might have increases of 10, 15%. If that's what the company is absorbing and they add in administration fees on top of that, you're going to receive a comparable rate. You won't receive their rate because there are administration fees that go into it. They're doing work for you. They might be sponsoring the plan. They might be administering it. So even if they're not passing on broker fees, there will always be some kind of fee that's added. The question is, what is the base rate from where they're starting? That's a very important question to ask. It's also very important for you to know where you fall on the risk spectrum. Take a look at your demographic. It's not hard to figure out if you're high or low risk unless there's some strange occurrence that happened that's kind of a one-off. If you have an older demographic as far as employees or you have a demographic that uses their medical insurance on a regular basis for large things, you're going to be in a higher risk pool than a higher risk group than a group of younger individuals who never go to the doctor and think they're invincible. There's nothing wrong with either group, but you need to take that into account when you are looking to partner and when you start asking questions about how they handle risk tolerance and risk diversification. There should be cost and risk mitigation when it comes to any type of insurance that they're offering you. So ask those questions and get very educated about where you're being placed. Have an amazing week. Take care of yourself. Take care of your company and your employees. Bye.